SpaceX has indeed come a long way since its inception. The company, founded in 2002, faced numerous challenges and setbacks in its early years, which were marked by a series of rocket failures. The first significant setback occurred in March 2006, when the Falcon 1 rocket failed to reach orbit. This failure was followed by others, including a Falcon 9 rocket carrying a Dragon spacecraft bound for the International Space Station, breaking apart mid-air in June 2015 and a Falcon Heavy rocket loss in June 2019. These failures were part of the learning curve that SpaceX had to undergo to refine its technology and approach. Musk acknowledged the difficult start, stating that the first three launches of the company were failures. The fourth launch, which was crucial for the survival of SpaceX, fortunately succeeded. This success marked a turning point for the company. The recent incident involving the loss of a SpaceX Falcon 9 booster at sea is indeed a significant event in the realm of space exploration. This booster, notable for its history of 19 successful missions, met an unfortunate end due to harsh sea conditions during its transport back to port following its latest mission. After its successful mission on December 23rd, where it carried 23 Starlink satellites into orbit, the Falcon 9 booster landed on the drone ship, just read the instructions. This process involves a series of steps that begin immediately after landing. Once the booster touches down on the drone ship, the priority is to ensure its stability. The ship is equipped with mechanisms to secure the booster, preventing it from moving during transit back to port. This is particularly important in maintaining the structural integrity of the rocket during transportation through potentially rough sea conditions. The journey back to the port is a critical phase. The drone ship with the booster on board must navigate the ocean waters, which can be unpredictable. Factors like high winds and turbulent seas can significantly impact the stability of the booster during this transit. As evidenced in the case of this booster, rough sea conditions can pose substantial risks, including the possibility of the rocket toppling over. Upon reaching the port, the booster is carefully offloaded using cranes and other equipment. After offloading, the booster undergoes thorough inspections to assess its condition and determine the feasibility of its reuse. Engineers and technicians examine various components, including the engines and structural elements to ensure everything is functioning correctly and safely. However, despite these careful and systematic procedures, the recent booster tail number B-1058 experienced a significant mishap during its return voyage to Port Canaveral in central Florida. While being transported back to port, it encountered high winds and waves which caused it to topple over and break in half. This booster has been a notable figure in spaceflight history, especially for being the only booster adorned with NASA's logos. It earned this distinction from its maiden launch, Demo-2, which was the first crewed orbital spaceflight launched from the United States since the conclusion of the shuttle program. This historic mission carried two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station on May 30, 2020. In addition to this landmark achievement, the booster was also integral in delivering satellites for the Starlink Internet Constellation and other significant payloads to the International Space Station. Despite the recent incident, SpaceX is focused on extracting valuable lessons and data from it. The company has acknowledged that newer Falcon boosters have been equipped with upgraded landing legs capable of self-leveling to prevent such incidents, a feature that was not present in this booster due to its age. Beyond these improvements, SpaceX has been exploring other advanced landing methods, including the development of a tower, to catch rockets, a concept similar to the Mechazilla system designed for the Starship rocket. The Mechazilla, a part of SpaceX's Starship development program, is a tower equipped with mechanical arms designed to catch the Starship and its super heavy booster as they return to Earth. This method, if successful, would eliminate the need for landing legs entirely and could potentially allow for even quicker turnaround times for rocket reusability. Catching towers could provide a more controlled and stable method of recovering boosters, especially in challenging environmental conditions like high seas. Over its lifetime, the B-1058 booster underwent significant transformations, both in terms of its physical appearance and its role in advancing space exploration. 
On its final mission, this Falcon booster, which was originally white and had the red NASA logo on it, appeared much darker, almost charcoal in color. This change in color was due to the soot and marks accumulated from its multiple trips to space and back. This change in appearance from its original state shows the harsh conditions of space travel and the booster's repeated reusability. When a negative event occurs, it's common for people to forget the past successes. This seems to be the case with SpaceX's Falcon 9 booster. Despite its recent mishap, the booster had an impressive track record, successfully landing back on Earth 18 times prior to its final mission. This achievement is particularly noteworthy, as no other booster in the history of spaceflight has matched this level of reusability. For context, even the space shuttle, renowned for its reusability, had a different approach. The shuttle's solid rocket boosters were recovered and reused, but each mission required a new orbiter vehicle. Moreover, the orbiters themselves, though reusable, needed extensive refurbishment between flights and weren't used as frequently as B-1058. In its career, it launched two astronauts and over 860 satellites, carrying more than 260 metric tons into space over approximately three and a half years. While SpaceX currently relies mainly on its Falcon family rockets like the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, the company is now focusing more and more on its new Starship rocket. The Starship rocket is designed to be larger and more powerful than any rocket that has previously been launched. This increased size and power are crucial for SpaceX's plans, as the Starship is intended to carry out a wide range of missions, including sending large payloads to Earth orbit, the Moon, and even Mars. One of the key features of the Starship is its full reusability. Unlike traditional rockets that are mostly single-use, Starship is designed to be used multiple times, which could dramatically reduce the cost of space travel. Many doubted Musk when he first announced plans for a massive, fully reusable rocket like the Starship, thinking it wouldn't even get off the ground. Musk has proven them wrong, not just once, but twice, with successful launches. And guess what? They are already preparing for the third launch. They have performed crucial tests, including a static fire test on December 20th, where all six Raptor engines of the upper stage Starship were successfully fired at the Starbase facility. However, no specific date has been set for this upcoming launch. The timing of the launch will depend on several factors, including regulatory approvals from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration or the FAA. SpaceX is expected to ramp up the testing of its Starship rocket in 2024, following the successful completion of the required tests and obtaining necessary regulatory approvals. This aligns with their contract with NASA for the Artemis program, where Starship will play a crucial role in establishing a presence on the Moon. Starship is expected to carry over 100 metric tons to Earth orbit, significantly more than current rockets. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.